Hey guys, this is part 12 of my video story, and after that amazing performance in Mallorca, we move on to stage 3 of, tw of the Tour of Qatar, with one sponsor goal in the bag, thanks to Goodluck stage win. Um, as I've said, Qatar stages aren't going to be the most exciting, unless something interesting happens with a breakaway, I'm, I'm just going to show you the, the final 5k of all of these stages, really not particularly exciting. So at the moment, uh, Garmin obviously won the team time trial, so David Miller is in the lead. But Garmin don't really have a top sprinter, I mean, Robbie Hunter is the sprinter by the looks of it. Cavendish is only three seconds back though, and he's he's going to be the man to beat. Uh, then you've got Orica, Green Edge, Radio Shack, Omega Farmer, so I mean, we, we're 24 seconds down, so we're going to need some serious bonus seconds if we're going to get anywhere near the top five. Uh, so, I'm going to get put someone in the breakaway. Whoever's in the right place at the right time, I guess, will be in the breakaway. So, I will uh, join you in the race, and you'll find out what's happened. Just a quick update here: the breakaway has got away, and we managed to get Deeper Veen into it. And even better, he's plus five on the day. He's in here with Lavale and Walker. So. Yeah, and for once, there's absolutely no wind, like, which is very rare in Qatar. So that shouldn't that should mean that it it should be a lot easier in the peloton. But you know, hopefully this breakaway can can do well. Deep Feen is is good, but I think Lavale is a quicker sprinter, but he's not very good on on the flat. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Guys, disaster has struck. I'm afraid our Belgian friend Waldo has apparently just crashed on his own on a straight bit of road and it looks like he's out so we're down to seven riders I'm afraid Waldo's off to the hospital which really damages our chances in the classics to be honest sorry Waldo it's over that's bad that's a bad thing so we're down to seven deep things still up the road but it's all going to pot here. But Gombox plus four on the day, so we've definitely got a chance of doing something in the sprint. Um, so I'll come back for the final five kilometers. So we've got five kilometers to go. Um, Deep Fiend was caught a long time ago, unfortunately, even though he gave it everything. We've got a really good lead out going here because of because of the fact there's no wind. I see it's not a problem today. Uh, Backer's doing brilliantly here. Time to hand over to to big to the big powerhouse that is Nick Van der Waal, though. Come on, Nick. What hell's Cav? What the hell? What's Bonin? Bonin's a, Bonin's in the wrong train. He's got lost. Go 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 go! Sprint, sprint, sprint faster. Now you're still going slower than Van der Waal. Look. It's really just not working, is it? Strange, that isn't it? Oh, that's gonna. Oh, this is just gonna be disaster. Everyone's getting. Everyone's going into one big line. Everyone's getting blocked. No, no. The Van der Waal, he just, he just doesn't care. He's just shoving everyone out of the way. Right, Gombok's gonna have to go now. I, I don't really know what's happening here. Oh, that was a rubbish lead out from Bertels, wasn't it? Sorry about that, lads. No excuse for that. Pandavald's finally, uh, finally finished. So who's going to get this one then? Cav hasn't even started sprinting yet. Gombox coming up hard. Fortunately, he just got blocked there. So Cav gets the win. It's going to be Marcus second, and then Hutarovic third. Gombox's going to be about sixth, I think, which is a real shame because there was the potential for a podium today. Third and fourth, it is sixth. Milan Honda, that's a big disappointment, that is. Everyone else, shh, I think all of our guys are in the peloton. Where's Deep? Yeah, Deep Fiend's fine in the peloton. Just a couple of guys got dropped. One crashed. Booyah crashed earlier. So he's lost tons of time. Obviously, Van Maxfield, I don't know what's happened to him, we'll have to find out. He's in the hospital. Alright. So yeah, come back in the results screen and we'll find out what's happened to poor Waldo. So Cavendish took the win. Um, 
obviously gone box sixth, which is a tad disappointing to be honest. He had he, if he hadn't got blocked on that corner by everyone, he'd have probably got fourth, maybe. Maybe could have beaten Hutorovic. Would have been close there. Jurikas 17th, Van der Waal 26th, Bertels 31st, after the worst lead out in history. Becker 57th, Gibson 60th, and Deeper Vane 78th. He gained 5 seconds in the breakaway. So, a bit of time. Oh no, here we go. Let's, let's assess the damage. I hope he's not out for months, because that would be really sucky. Oh, mid-April. Oh, Waldo. Waldo! It's a disaster, and he's 32 as well, so he's not got long left. Well, that is a disaster. We've lost one of our main Classics guys for the Classic season. Nice. So I don't know where Deeper Vien is on GC. He's 26th. Hmm. That was a waste of time. Uh, that was exciting. So next up is stage, the final stage of Mallorca, which is, um, as I've said before, very very hard in the middle. Easy, easy at the start, easy at the end, but very tough in the middle. Particularly this climb here, which is that one I think, Bunyola. Yeah, it's that one. Very hard climb, and we're going to have to somehow defend. The leader's jersey here, although at least we've got two guys, but with the bonus seconds at the end, we need to be right up there. So, uh, yeah, the with the help of our brilliant doctor, we've uh, Van Maxfield's injury time has been reduced to end of March, so a couple of weeks off. I've had to change his fitness plan for the season, though, obviously to just because his his peak, the peak that he had, is he'll now be injured, so. Changed his peak to uh, later on in the season and should be okay. He should be able to come back strong, although he's missing most of our cobbled races, which is not great. So I guess Goodluck's technically our leader now. But yeah, uh, I'll come back in the race. We've got to try and get someone in the breakaway. Try and get Rakovec away, but I'm not sure if they'll let him, to be honest. So just a quick update here. Halfway through the stage, we've gone over the first two climbs. Breakaway has five minutes. Um, it is Bellamacca's. Pinotti, Plava, Piedra, and Rakovic, who um, is doing okay. He's just anchoring them, really, just annoying them. Uh, Piedra attacked on the last line, but Rakovic just closed him straight back down. Um, as you can see, Douglas is minus five on the day. Definitely not going to be one for him, but uh, it's okay. That you know the pace is the pace is very high. Garmin and Sky have been on the front very hard on these on these first two climbs. A lot of people are already at the back, but um, we're doing okay. Good luck's okay at the moment, as is Bikili, So that's that's all that matters. So yeah, uh, just coming up to this really hard climb as I said, and hopefully Rakovic can stay out there with these guys, and yeah, I'll come back once these climbs are out of the way or when something interesting happens. Well this is rather exciting. We have five kilometers to go and this break of a oh, breakaway of four now because Piedra got dropped. This breakaway of four is, is gonna make it. Uh we've still got one minute thirty ish on the Peloton, which means Rakovec could also take the uh the G C win. Don't know how to do this tactically but it's pretty difficult. I mean he's the slowest sprinter in this group Rakovec. But you never know. He's not done as much work as them, so. Uh, in between, we've got Schleck and Rogers who attacked out of the group, but they've not really gone that far. Bakili's on the front, helping to keep the gap down. Uh, Goodlock's still absolutely fine. Maybe I should get him to follow Bakili, actually. And just put Bakili on self effort so that they both stay up near the front. Rakovic is now in a he's in the worst place pretty much, but hold on a second, just give them their bars. So tactically Plaza is the quickest sprinter, but he's in the worst place. Need to follow someone here. Got a strong headwind. Oh no, we're turning right, so it won't be a headwind actually. 
Looks like the Keeley's actually kind of. I think we're actually catching. We might actually catch the the leaders at this speed. So Rakovesh definitely isn't going to win the GC then. This lead out from Plaza is so slow. Might be time to uh, just try and move up a bit in the line. Or you just. Ooh, Duque and Piedra. Uh, Danny Moreno crashed earlier as well, but he was already, he'd already lost quite a lot of time. So. And now he's moving up. Now he's moving up. Are they going to start sprinting or not? Because we're going to be caught by the peloton here. Right, one and a half k. I'm going to go. How's the peloton doing? So he's doing a great job here, Bakili. A worryingly good job. Go, Rakovich. Go. He's got a good head start, but he's not the quickest sprinter in the world. Oh, hello. What the hell? Bozic is still in this group. Why on earth is Bozic still in the group? So back up at the front. Rakovic still ahead. Pinotti's coming through now. Is anyone going to catch Rakovic? I can't see it happening. He's got a big gap. That's good luck gone. What the hell? It's happened again. How can Pekili on 90F be going quicker than good luck sprinting? Oh my god, it's just going to be close. The sprinters are coming. But I think Rakovic has got this. He has. It's two in a row. Rakovic with a great ride. Hangs on. Bonus seconds may even move him up a couple of places. I don't know how many people were at 121 down at the start of the day, but that sprint from Goodluck was a waste of time, wasn't it? But Goodluck will win the GC unless the climber, look at him. Look at him, he's sagging. Look at him. <laughs> What's the mighty motorbike doing in there? Pinotti will hang on for second, and then... Plaza gets third. So unless he gets dropped, he doesn't. So Goodluck wins the Vuelta Mallorca. Wow. Our first tour victory. Douglas. Hang on. Look, 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 I've got now. It's absolutely ruined. Yeah, he's managed to finish in the group. So is Douglas. Great ride. St. Ledge is the only one that got dropped, actually. He got dropped um, on the, uh, the final categorised climb. He'd, uh, he'd done his job for the day, but... It's a shame he couldn't hang on, but he's, it looks okay now. Because obviously he's been going at a slower pace, so he's recovered, but he was absolutely dead. So his top 10 was um, Anton, Bellamekas, Benati, Bozic, Vicioso, Goodluck, Froome. Goodluck beat him Froome again. He's just showing him his boss. So, uh, yes. Another stage win. So, Rakovic wins the stage. Um... He'll, he'll only move up a couple of places, he'll just move up into the top 20. Um, St. Ledge is one of the guys he'll go ahead of, but yeah. Uh, our first, our first uh, tour stage race win, which is good. There he is, Goodluck wins it. Bikili second, couldn't really be much better, I don't think. What a week. Aishdar third, Fremantle, etc. No, it does not massive changes. All the top climbers in there. The points jersey will still will stay with Greipel. It's good luck had a better sprint at the end there, you know. He could have beaten Guardini, but he wouldn't have caught Greipel, even if he'd have won the stage. Climbers jersey, I wasn't paying any attention to the KOM, to be honest. I had bigger fish to fry. Um, right, okay, it keeps skipping it. I don't know what's wrong with that. Uh, Goodluck wins the best young rider as well. Mujagic fifth, Gochnow sixth, Douglas seventh. Great race from from the team. But Movistar do hold on with Sky and Bunzel. The only other other teams that didn't uh, lose any time. That was rather spiffing.
So Rakovich comes in first. What a man. He's in that breakaway all day. Just controlling the controlling the breakaway. And he was stronger than them all at the end. Uh so we've seen the state we've seen the uh stage results GC. Uh Maria Gitch was thirteenth. Kochnau is seventeenth, which is a great ride by him actually, because he's very uh very young. Pure climb. And then yeah, Rakovic moves up to nineteenth. So eighteen guys in that front group. That was all. Douglas twenty third, just behind his compatriot Michael Rogers. Uh then St. Ledger forty ninth. Unfortunately lost a lot of time today, but it's a shame. He'll have he'll have his time, no doubt. Races with time trials and then Kelly uh, 85th, sorry, but a great ride today to stay in that group. I did say he could deal with hills, although I wasn't expecting him to finish 21st on that stage. It's hard. So yes, definitely that that sponsor goal of finish of a stage win in Tour of Mallorca. I think we uh, slightly beat that. Obviously, it goes without saying that good luck will will get a, an upgrade point. Bikili will as well, so it's all good. But thanks for watching that. I hope you enjoyed it. A, a great, another great victory. The next video will hopefully be the remaining stages in Qatar. Should be able to fit all three into one. Um, hopefully, we can get some some sort of success in Qatar. Although it's it's pretty unlikely with with the Manx missile there. So yeah, join me for that, um, and uh, feel free to comment.